And welcome, folks, to The Prince of Persia Sands of Time by Ubisoft. Uh, Ubisoft Montreal Studios presents Prince of Persia Team. was thought to be one of the better action games of our time right now. And, uh, you know, it was one that I never played. I did play one of the old Prince of Persia's for the Sega Genesis, which was one of those miserable games. That would just... Oh, it, it, getting past level one was hell. Anyone who remembers it. <sighs> Drinking my Earl Grey tea with Brandy, actually, for this. Very tasty. Toga. Start a new game. In the beginning was the sands. The sands of time. Use Wasti to control the prince. Okay. Uh... Strange. I'm kind of hoping that that's not a major graphic issue there. Most I'm people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India, where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. Hey now! Oh, shit. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell? If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. You know what I think about? Texture glitches. Alright folks, welcome back. I was debating pulling out, um, you know, since we obviously had that glitch there, but I thought I would show people how to fix it. It looks like it is a problem with NVIDIA drivers, and it seems like the simplest fix right now is just turning the fog off. It looks like the fog gets a little bit too much, but as you can see, Looks like we're all right now. Hello. Give me a sword. Uh, I guess we're not going that way. Oh, hey. The camera is a little honky. Um, run toward and press. Oh, wow, jeez. So this will be. Oh, run towards the wall while holding the special action. Oh, cool. Press space to climb up, C to drop. Press F for first person view. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll jump! Excellent. I'm gonna see if I can turn down the mouse sensitivity just a bit. Just seems a little bit too high. I'm even normally a, a pretty twitchy person with it, but. Yes. And let's see if we can't... Can we put on subtitles? It's usually in sounds, then. Hmm. 
I guess not. Okay. Maybe there is a way that I'm just unaware of, but... Alright. Run forward and press... Yeah. We've got that part. Oh! You dead. Let's click to smash obstacles. Or jump on them. Come on, you. So forgive me while I kind of acquaint myself to the game. Yeah. Well, we don't don't really need that. Okay. Put away the sword. Can we climb up now? Yes. I see. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of Assassin's Creed, the original anyway, combat. Maybe a little bit more spinny. Oh, yeah! Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Kosro said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. That's not to say we aren't going to do a ton of killing, mind you. Just that, that's apparently not going to be the main way. Hello. Oh wow, okay. Do you don't take a lot of damage, do you? Ow. Ow! Oh, cool. I don't even quite know how I did that. Oh, jump. Oh, that's awesome. Bitch. It definitely shows its time a little bit, uh, you know, and that's not to say it's an old game at all, but so far the the controls do seem very fluid. Uh, oh. What is this? To run along a wall. Hold. Oh, cool. You got a little matrix going on here. To restore strength. Oh, right click to drink water. <sighs> See, it, uh, again, video games, a lot of people don't realize how true video games are to real life. If you get slashed by a sword, generally all you need to do is take a sip of water. A lot of people don't think to do that, though. You know, they, they think, and it, it actually works the same with bullets or, or anything, really. Uh, the problem is most people just don't have water on them. Oh, God! That was kind of cool there, though. To be a man! This guy's pretty pro. What is this? Press space to jump up and grab a ledge. What ledge am I grabbing? Oh. Oh! I... I'm not quite sure where I want to jump this, though. I guess... Here? See to drop. Okay. Yep. 
If you've ever seen the show Ninja Warrior, um, it's on G4 TV. It is incredible to see people like actually doing what this guy is doing. Uh, you know, you kind of take it for granted in a video game just how amazingly difficult and how unbelievably draining something like this is to your body. I mean, you, you know, this guy is looking at beyond superhuman hu strength here. Which is certainly not a bad thing, though. I mean, hey. That's Ow! Ow! Bastard. Waha! <laughs> oh god! Off of it! Unfortunately, my tea has this slight taste of, uh, whatchamacallit, vinegar. Which, yeah, I know, doesn't sound that good. And trust me, it really isn't. I had to clean out my Keurig. And, um, no, so I used the vinegar. And I swear, I, I spent, you know, a, a good deal of time, like, putting through, uh, you know, just empty water, so to speak. Okay. Can I get on top of it? No, but I can jump here. So this is looking to be kind of a Tomb Raider-ish game. Raider-ish It's a shame that the only real good Indiana Jones game that I've played is uh, Fate of Atlantis. I thought in Indiana Jones games would be perfect for something like this. I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? Uh, sure. Hey, sounds great to me. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Okay, you're you're very polite to me. Are we doing wall runs here? I guess we are, aren't we? Special action to run along the wall. What was that? Press space to jump from the wall. Oh, okay, I get you. Wow, this is impressive. I mean, you got to look. A lot of what Assassin's Creed is based on, I I would say, borrowed a, a heavy amount from this. Right click to run up a wall, then press jump to run from it. That's really cool. And there it lay, just out of reach. The Dagger of Time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. That's not what I wanted to do. Ow. Well, I can drink though, can I? Oh. Got to get the connect with this. <laughs> uh, we're going to run. We're going to run. Oh, I jumped way too soon. Oh! Really? That killed me? Wait, that's not how. That really killed me? Well, that's one death, folks. Welcome to the Togoth LP. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't run up. We want to run. Well, let's face it. If you were, uh, if you weren't expecting me to die at least once during this tutorial, you've been watching the wrong LP, or, or you haven't been watching my LPs. Whatever you want to say it. Huh. Okay. Oh, jeez! I barely hit that. Hey, hey! The camera is a little honky here. Now we want to 
You can run a pretty long distance across a wall, I'll tell you what. Oh. Avoid spiky poles. Oops. Let's drop. Drop. Nothing to it. Come on, I may not be the pro game, but... Let's trudge through some water. Uh, let's... Can we run up this wall? Apparently not, because... Uh... I'm kinda confused here. Did I miss something here? Is that a ledge? <sighs> See, I, I, I don't quite understand his his no, getting no, that's not his getting killed at stuff like that. I mean, that doesn't seem like that's the type of thing that should kill you. I mean, hurt you pretty bad, sure, but like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I understand that's a far drop, you know, but. At the same time, you look at this guy who's, like, pulling off these amazing acrobatic acts. So, I'm confused here. Can I cut this down? Oh boy, Togaf. You know, maybe to... Is that... I, I just can't tell by the graphics if there's like a ledge or something that I'm missing here. Oh, I guess we gotta put that away. But I can't... I can't do any type of wall climb or anything. Herpader! Um, let's just try running across the wall here. I mean, that seemed to be... A little, a little water on you? It's alright. Uh. What the fuck? I suck. No, no, no. That didn't happen. No, 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 that did not happen. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I'm, I'm this derpy that I can't get through the friggin' tutorial of this game. I mean, I'm sure there's people who are like, who have never played this game and who are going, hey, dumbass, it's right there. But, unfortunately, dumbass is, is fairly accurate. E. I mean, is there... So, I mean, the problem is I can't even, like, begin to try and... do jumping stuff. And unless I can turn this off somehow, but... Are you fliggin' kidding me? Huh! I'm just, I'm very impressed by my own stupidity. I mean... There's nothing up here, right? No. Oh! That was a ledge! It was just hard to kind of see there if that was meant to be a ledge or... or what? So we want to use move to point away from the ledge. All right, we're we're making progress now, folks. I apologize for that. I could not tell that those were ledges. Which may seem kind of silly now, but burn two deaths just failing. Um. Uh, 
So I would say for this... More than likely it's going to be something similar. Not that way. This way. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, can I make that jump? Do I need to make that jump? Oh, well. That'll make my life harder. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah! That didn't happen. <laughs> I agree. That did not happen. Okay. So this is just another puzzle. So this is what we're going to be expecting a lot of, I assume, in this game. Um, a lot of these types of climbing puzzles. So if we drop... There we go. We got you. nice how it makes a nice little path for us, huh? Oops, not what I want to press. This is going to fall, isn't it? Maybe not. Who builds something like th Oh, oh. Well, uh, butt burn there. No! You kidding me? Wait. Are you sure that's not what happened? Are you positive? <sighs> Alright folks, I'm going to cut off here and when I get back we'll be, uh, we'll be doing the column th thing again. So, as always folks, thank you very much for watching and I do believe we've already set the tone for Prince of Persia and the Sands of Time. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, it is greatly appreciated.